Hey everybody, Advanced Trance here. Welcome to another vinyl unboxing uh, for Rec Store Day 2021. Uh, today we're going to be going over Rage Against the Machine, the Battle of Mexico City. I uh, was very lucky to get a copy of this one. There was only four available in the store, and I was 10th in line. Very, very happy I got a copy of this. Uh, in the meantime, why don't you click like and subscribe and support local channels like mine. Also, too, I'm on Instagram at Advanced Trance, A D V A N C E D T R A N C E, and I'll be displaying uh, photo comps and uh, still photos of the albums that I display here on YouTube. So, without further ado, let's get into it. This Rage Against the Machine live, The Battle of Mexico City. This was recorded live during. The Battle of Los Angeles, I believe. Uh, this is going to be a two LP set. Recorded live in Mexico City, October 28th, 1999. This is the first time on vinyl. And on top of that too, uh, it's tra two LPs, translucent, red, and one green, with a white label to represent the Mexican flag. As so, uh, you know what, oh, we're here, might as well just... Yes, I've already removed the cellophane because this Joey Ramone and a few other albums I just dove right into as soon as I got home from Record Store Day. This show is fantastic. It's got great songs on here from Testify, No Shelter. It's a little shorter than the live at the Grand Olympic Auditorium, but it's still live Rage Against the Machine, which... Pretty much, that's what I would like. I would like Live Rage Against the Machine because of the energy that comes from the album itself. So let's get right into it, shall we? There we go. Got the first vinyl. There's the white label, as promised by... There was no sticker saying what was going to be inside, but if you went to recordstoreday.com and check the uh, release sheet, you will see what to expect. So let's take a look at this beautiful first translucent green vinyl. It's beautiful. So let's actually jazz this up a little bit here. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's beautiful. Absolutely. So on this side A, it will be Testify, Gorilla Radio, People of the Sun, Calm Like a Bomb. And on the B side of here, it will be Sleep Now in the Fire, Born of a Broken Man, Bomb Track, Know Your Enemy. Beautiful green color. Set this off here. Slide that in. Underneath. Hold out LP number two. White label again. Pull this out. Beautiful. Translucent. Almost candy red vinyl. Mm-mm-mm. All right, all right. Jazz it up with a little light and look at that. Mm -mm. Actually, this red one, you can see, if you look good enough, you can just see the ripples in the vinyl itself of it being squashed. It's really neat looking. I really love how the grooves in the records almost uh, give a nice electromagnetic wave feeling when you look into it. But uh, the side C, it continues on to No Shelter, War Within a Breath, Bulls on Parade, Killing in the Name of, and then it heads on through to Zapata's Blood, Freedom, and Township Rebellion. Oh yeah. 
Put that over here. Sleeve this. I did have a chance to listen to this album and it is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now there was a previous live Rage Against the Machine album before this one and as, as I mentioned earlier that one is uh, live at the Grand Olympic Auditorium. I believe it's 2008. I'm not for sure. Don't quote me on it. And I heard mixed uh, reviews about this second live album and I can understand why. Now I'm not an audiophile snob you know, first off, it's Rage Against the Machine, right? They're new metal punk, okay? <laughs> like, I don't really expect in great sound quality. You know, I want to pull on this record and I want to, like, jump around the room and flip over a coffee table. You know, I want to get pumped when I want to listen to Rage Against the Machine. And this is a great album to do so as well as Live at the Grand Olympic. The only difference between this one and Live at the Grand Olympic that was released so years ago is that this is a straight DVD rip and just remastered pressed on vinyl live at the Grand Olympic had an intention of being released live of you know, CD vinyl and DVD as well like there was way more mastering for that with professional sound quality of course that is just being a straight DVD rip but I really don't hear much of a difference I really don't some people say that this was sounds like there's recording inside of a tin can. Well, fun fact, a lot of great Queen songs, you know, it's just a microphone or a headphone inside of a large coffee can and re-recorded it again. So, explain that one to me. <laughs> I I really do enjoy this album a lot. I'm really happy now for $30 for a 2 LP, about 15 bucks a piece on Translucent Color. Yeah. Well worth it. I wish they would have added an insert, a little insert, or maybe just the, uh, you know, the front cover. If I could just get that on an insert so I can frame it and put it on the wall. Yeah, I'll take that oil painting, a painting. I'll, I'll hang it up. Maybe some, uh, some info on the show, of like why they went there or such like that. A little more background of why this album is so important to be pressed on vinyl. I would more than happy to take that for an insert, but then again. It's time and money, and it really does all depend of like who pressed it, the amount of machines that the pressing plant has, you know, the cost of them. Was it was it available for Record Store Day to fit their timeline to be released for 2021? Because it does take time to press and then clean the machine for the next color, and then it does take time to inspect every 20 albums or then quality control. How often is quality control stopping to check the quality of the vinyl? Does it play? It is not a lemon, you know, loading up into the sleeve. And then into the sleeve, it's like it's a time consuming process. This is a making vinyl records, is a time consuming process, it really is. So that's why the pricing is always going to vary. And sometimes you ask yourself, why is something like Ocean's Eleven, you know, it's a pinwheel pressing $40 for one vinyl? I yeah, go ask me. You know, when it comes to like something like pinwheel, that's actually a puck being molded together. This is just straight translucent beads. But for $30 for being released on Record Store Day, I'm very happy with this. <laughs> so, what did you think? Did you, do you have a copy of this album? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of this album? Does it get you pumped up as much as I do whenever I want to rage out? Uh, do you find Grand Olympic Auditorium better? Let me know in the comments below. What's your favorite Rage Against the Machine song? Oh, cool. You stuck around. Appreciate it. Just for that, I'll treat you to a bonus. Look at that. The Chemical Brothers single, The Darkness That You Fear. Oh, yeah. So, let's uncellophane. <laughs> Oh, uh, this really makes me cringe because I hate this part so much. But it's so worth it. Afterwards. Look at that. The Chemical Brothers single from 2021 Record Store Day drop. The Darkness That You Fear. And what they didn't tell you, that they never released the second song. 
And the second song is Work Energy Principle. Now I had a chance to listen to this and both songs are epic as always for Chemical Brothers. Beautiful. So let's take a look inside. Black sleeve polycarbonate. Gotta appreciate that. They know. They know. Polycarbonate sleeve. So what side is this? So this is the B side. Uh, the darkness that you fear. And this side is the work energy principle. And here... And here's the label. That is uh, just straight darkness. Really keeping true to the uh, main song of this single. Any dark... Any... Ooh. Actually, any secret etchings. There is something... There, what? The exchange? Yeah, I wonder if you can see that. There's a secret uh, etching in here. Right there. The exchange. Is there anything on the opposite side? What? No. Anything? Yeah, there is. The exchange. The exchange again. There's a secret etching called the exchange on here. Huh. I wonder what that means. The exchange. The darkness that you fear exchanges into the work energy principle? Hmm. Interesting. Love a good secret etching. Now I gotta. Now I have to deep dive into it. I really do. And even the inside, it's dark. <laughs> it really, really holds true. Ooh. Even the inside smells dark, like very dark ink. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. The label is the, the darkness that you fear. This. Yeah. What a. Okay, well, bonus. Thanks for sticking around for the uh, the bonus vinyl. I'll make sure to drop the links for the if I can find Rage Against Machine Battle of Mexico City. But I'll definitely drop these videos in the link as well because I know they exist. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe the video. Uh, make sure to visit me at Instagram at Advanced Trance, A D V A N C E D T R A N C. Uh, I'll see you then. Thanks for tuning in. Later.